another elementary school mass shooting, this time in Nashville, Tennessee. And, of course, the uh, pundits from Hollywood as well as uh, our great politicians have already come out to you know, say we got to jump on some gun control legislation. And there are those who are ridiculing anyone who would use the phrase, you know, our prayers and thoughts to the families of the victims, because that's such a waste of time, right? Uh, wrong. Now, before I get into my point today, let me give you a little parenthesis. The next mass shooter right now is glued to the television screens. He or she is saying, just wait, I'm going to do this and everyone in the world will know my name and you'll listen to what I have to say, finally. End of parentheses. How we can be so stupid to continue to cover these mass shootings the way we do is beyond any intellectual thought I can possibly have. Now listen, get to my podcast today. As you know, I am a Christian. Not only do I believe in God, not only is Jesus my Savior and my God, As much as I believe in him, I also believe in the devil. And it's interesting because I've had debates over my life um, with friends or associates who are atheists. I've even had some official debates uh, about the evidence for the existence of God with atheists. But I can't recall a debate I've ever had over the existence of the devil. Yet, as much as I believe in Jesus, I believe in the devil. And the one word I can use to describe the work of the devil is darkness. Pure darkness. As a former counselor, there were occasions where I would counsel somebody from a Christian perspective, and the darkness over their soul and their heart was so deep, so imprisoning, that I said, you know, this can't be just mental or emotional illness. This is truly demonic. And even as a Christian, I'm not a very good prayer. But in that moment, I felt like the greatest tool I had in my arsenal was prayer. And I would pray. I would bring others in to pray for that person. Listen, we live in a world that is pure darkness. It's getting worse and worse, which sort of sounds like Jesus because he said that would happen in the end times. And the devil is known for deceit, for lies. He is the father of lies, the scripture says. And man, the dishonesty that surrounds us is incredible. The devil also is known for hate. You see, God is love, so the devil's the opposite. Hate. Have you noticed any hate lately? Wow. It's getting worse and worse. It may be that the greatest thing we can do, as people are screaming we have to do something, yes, I agree, maybe it's prayer that we need to do. I will leave you with a a couple of -of out-of-date, old-fashioned, boring Bible verses. Colossians 1.13, quote, He, speaking of God, has delivered us from the domain of darkness, end quote. There it is. Ephesians 6, 11, and 12, quote, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the forces of evil, end quote. Can we pray together that God in all of his light will break through this darkness.